Hey everybody, this is Ori from OneScales, and today's video I'm going to showcase to you the Shopify's own Shopify Inbox app, which is really simply put a live chat app which allows your customers to go to the website and talk to you and your business and your customer service and your sales, etc. Uh, very simply on the app and uh, kind of connect better with your customers. So let's jump into it. Let's show you a little bit about it, how the customer experiences it, show you the back end, how the business uses it, and then you can make a decision to see if you want to use it. Uh, it's a free app. It's a really good app. I like it in general. It's not as good as some of the other uh, third-party paid apps, but it's really close, and I'm pretty sure they're going to add more functionality in future. Uh, overall, it's a really good one, and that's why I recommend it on this uh, video. So let's jump into it. If you have any questions, as always, ask us in the comments, say hello. We're here to make a community, make information more widely available and good information, most importantly. Okay, so what is a live chat app? Very simply, if a customer goes to this demo site, for example, on the bottom right hand side, they can chat with the business and they'll have some kind of a uh, introduction. It's a, now they can chat. For example, do you ship to Canada? Okay, that's my question as a customer. And then I need to fill in my information. For example, my name is Jay Smith and I'm just going to fill in my information and then the business can get this information. Okay. So now, now that I started chatting, I can actually communicate back and forth with the business. So this is the customer. Um, mm -hmm. I can also attach an image. And if I go back here, this is my back end of Shopify, as you're aware of. You can go to Inbox. After you've all obviously installed the app Inbox, it'll set up a new sales channel. And now I can actually view my messages, which is this, inbox.shopify.com. And you can see that Jay Smith just sent a message, do you ship to Canada? And I can say, hi, Jay. Uh, yes, we do. Right, and if I send this message, mm -hmm. I can they can actually see it. Hi, Jay. Yes, we do, and I can communicate back and forth. Um, and so uh, the customer can actually ask questions, etc. So let's look at how the business experience. Let's look at this back end. Let's look a little bit about it. We're going to jump into the business side, and also some settings, and then you can make your own conclusions. Okay. So uh, from a business, first of all, when I go to inbox.shopify. Here's all my open uh, chats, right? My open tickets, my open chats, things I haven't resolved yet. And when I resolve it, I finish something. For example, customer is satisfied. I can actually click on each message, close it. It'll go here and I'll have an old record. Okay, so here I just had this right here. Um, and I can see this is the customer information. This is their name they filled out. This is their email. This is their location. Uh, and if I click on manage, I'll be, ab be able to actually see all of their customer information in Shopify backend, right? So the same thing as if you go to here, you go to Jay Smith. Uh, a new chat, if they don't exist, it'll actually create them in the backend as a new customer, which is nice. And you can see you can add a note which will add the note to their customer and you can see some information about them right here. You have their conversation details. You can communicate with them, etc. Uh, so let's look at some of the details. When you chat with them, you have a few things. Number one, you can save what they call quick, quick replies, which is if the business continues to reuse certain uh, sentences or paragraphs or responses, or as they call replies, you can actually create these, you can manage them, create more, and then your customer service and your people that are managing this can actually reuse them and uh, save time, right? Uh, save time, be more accurate. The second thing is you can actually attach a discount, right? So if you have discounts in the back end, you can create discounts, you can actually make discounts in Shopify, you can easily just attach it to them, send it to them. Okay, for example, hey, sorry about your inconvenience, here's a coupon. You can also attach a certain product if you need to recommend the product, etc. You can search all the products. Um, and uh, the last thing you can do is add some uh, photo, for example, a screenshot or you know something like that, maybe a photo of the box. Um, once you finish communicating, let's say the customer is happy and they say, hey, thank you, I, I'm good. What you can do is you can actually close the conversation, which changes it from open to close. If I click here, it disappeared from open, but it's actually in closed. Um, what else can you do? You can actually reopen it. If you're in close, you can actually click here and reopen it to put it back here. So this is for your organization, basically. You can assign it to other staff. If you have multiple staff members, for example, multiple customer service agents, you can actually click here and you can see a, a selection of all the staff, assuming they have the right permissions to access the inbox and you can assign it to them. So a specific staff member, maybe one that handles, for example, returns, it would only go to the returns person or one that handles you know, whatever it is, products, discounts, et cetera, or maybe levels, right? A higher, higher level, et cetera. You can actually uh, 
click on it as unread so you can easily go back to it. You can organize for yourself. And the last thing is if there's some spam or something, you can actually block people that are uh, spammy or other. Okay. Other than that, you have everything right here. You have uh, the information about the conversation. Uh, you have the customer information. Uh, one other thing that's uh, kind of nice is you can get a little bit more information. If the customer goes and they have products in their cart, for example, I'm going to click here, add. Uh, I added something to my cart. You can actually see that it also, not just the customer information, the chat information, you can also see what's in their cart, which helps you do customer service. Okay, so let's go uh, into uh, some other things, a few other things about settings, and then we can conclude this video. So if you've already installed it, you'll have a sales channel called Inbox. You have some basic reports based on the time frame. You can see how many chats, how many have a reply, how, how, what the average response time is, and how many conversations have led to sales, right? So you can track things, and then you have all these links that uh, follow here. Okay, so let's look at some of the settings. I'm going to jump back and forth to make it a little bit more uh, sense. Uh, so the first thing you want to do for chat settings is if you want to use this after this video, after you install it, you can actually make that widget visible, which basically appears here. If you make it hidden, obviously people will not be able to chat. So the first thing you want to do is turn it on. Second thing you want to do is actually um, when, if you remember when they started chatting, they had to put in their name and email. You can actually uh, show the opt in for special promotions, right? You can ask them to opt in uh, and you can change the text, right? So change text. You can see here it changes the text here. It may be your local language or you want to change the content. Okay. Uh, other than that, you can have the chat with us, this kind of bigger button or a small button and you can place it. You see here, you can place it. Uh, either at the bottom right or the bottom left. If you notice here, it's bottom right, but you can change it to the bottom left depending on how your website is. You can change the color. You can change the color to any color you want. You can just click here and change the color. For example, I want this, right? If I save it, it'll go live. Um, other than that, uh, I can set up a few other things about instant answers. So um, let's, let's say go into some of the details. Okay, so um, when you first chat with someone, when you first chat, Okay, in the beginning, let me go here to, let me open a new window actually. Let me show you how it works. Let me go right there, open a new window. And let's close this, let's open another one. Let me show you. Okay, enter the password. This is just a demo store. Okay. Let's go right here. Okay, so the first thing is uh, when I first join right here, I can actually set up these kind of instant answers, maybe some common questions like FAQs. For example, I can turn this on right here. Let's save this. Let's save that right there. And let's refresh. Okay, so before the customer chats with me, I can actually have these kind of sticky questions that they can go and they can get more information that they might not have to talk to customer service. So the default one of Shopify uh, inbox is track my order. This is a nice thing that they can actually input their uh, order number and then they can actually get information about their order without talking into a customer service. So this is one nice feature. The other ones you can do and, and manage instant answers, you can make your own, for example, I can make a visible one. So what countries do I ship to, for example? And I can say US, Canada, Mexico. Okay, just for example. And if I save this, next time when people come, they can actually see this answer. So let's go right here. Let's refresh. Okay, and cancel. Let's go back to the beginning. Okay, you can see here, now I can have some FAQs really simply, what countries I ship to, and then it automatically gives them the answer to that. So this is a nice way to save some resources, give some, put your most popular questions and answers uh, at the top. Okay, um, so these are the, um, you can see right here, you can see, for example, I made this visible plus the order. Um, so that's instant answers right here. You can have it under save responses. Let's go right here. Okay, next one. And you can also reorder them right here. Next one, what, what else can you do here? So first, let's say go to quick replies. I think this is a, a more relevant one first. So quick replies, if you remember when you're the business, you can actually save time to have these kind of a quick replies. I can immediately send some kind of template. Let's consider it as a template. 
Okay, so let's say I want to make one, for example, shipping countries. Okay, I want to do this. And I can call it ship, you know what, let's just call it countries. And so um, we ship to USA, Canada, okay, etc. Okay, and then Mexico. MX. Okay, so if I type in countries as a business, you'll be able it'll be able to autofill this response. So let's go here. Let's chat with this person right here. And countries, right? So if I start typing in countries, let's refresh the page because I just uh, created it. Sometimes you got to wait a little bit. So let's chat, for example, return to chat. I need assistance. Um, Jane Smith. Jane at Yahoo. Okay, just for example. Okay, um, so if I go here and I have a new chat from Jane Smith and I start typing in countries, one second, con excuse me, countries right here, I can actually click it'll auto auto fill this information. Or either I can click right here or I can, if I have a lot of them, I can search for it. Okay, so this is a nice thing right there. Um, let's see what else we have here. So these are shortcuts. The last one is first reply. Okay, so first reply you can turn on or off. So when you chat with someone, let's go right here, return to chat. Okay, let's do one more. Let me show you the example. Okay, so when you first chat with the business right here, and I want to chat with them, for example, uh, can you help, right? So I'm going to chat with them. J1. Okay. Let's just say this. Okay. So when I chat the first time, I can decide that once I start chatting, will there be a message right here? This one, for example. Will, will there be a message, yes or no? Um, automatically. So how do I do that? I actually go here and I go to first reply and I can set up my business hours. If I set up my business hours, I can decide what will be, if it's within the hours, what will be the message that will automatically show within the selected hours, or if it's outside the hours, what message will show. So for example, let's say um, I have custom hours and I'm working only nine to five Monday through Friday. Okay, so let me save that. Uh, if someone is chatting within those hours based on my time zone in my settings, uh, it'll show this message. So for example, it'll show this message, which I can change right here. If it's without the, if it's outside the business hours, you can actually set up this one. Okay. So this is a, just a nice message to have some kind of automation. If you don't like this, you can also turn it off. You can turn it on or turn it off. Okay. Other than that, uh, we're almost finished with this. There's a, a few more things. Other than that, there are some integrations. I've never used it, but you can integrate with a messaging on Instagram and Facebook. I've never used it, but it seems to be a pretty good way if you want your customers to message you within Facebook. Uh, and the last one is notifications. So uh, or that, there's actually two more things. So you can set up if you have your Mac or your laptop uh, your PC, et cetera, you can set up notifications. So if someone chats with you right here, you can also get a browser, a desktop notification, and then you know to go here to your chat and you can chat with them, right? Um, so really simply, you can actually set up some of the settings. Do you want to get just email notifications every time someone chats, or do you also get a push notification to your desktop, et cetera? The last thing is you can also set up a mobile app. Um, so I'm not going to show you in this video, but if you have Android or, or uh, iPhone, you can set it up. Every functionality that they have in the desktop, which is what you see here, is exactly the same in the mobile app. Uh, you have the settings right here. You have the you know the open the messages. You can see the customer information, their cart, the message itself, all the sending discounts. Uh, recommending a product and image. It's all exactly one for one the same. Just you use your app. It works good. I've used it before. Um, and very simply. So that's it. That's really simple. In general, I just want to close up for this. Uh, Shopify Inbox, it's free. It's a great app. They have some good integration with the customers, with the cart. You can uh, uh, assign uh, you know, different staff, etc. It's a good app. It's free. So that's, you know, obviously a major plus. Um, some of the other third party um, apps for live chat, they do have some more functionality, but in general, it's really good. I would say it's almost maybe like an eight out of 10. It's really good, especially for the value, for the price. Um, really good. Use it. Tell me what you think if you use it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. Hope you liked this in a video. If you liked it, say hi, subscribe, share, 
Uh, tell friends. And if you have any questions, comments, anything we can learn, please share with us. Talk to us in uh, the chat and much appreciated. We'll be making more and more videos around the web. Uh, much appreciated. Thank you, guys.